For LMRollSplitters.com, I'm Scott Rowland, joined by Director of Track and Field, Rochelle Black. Coach, first outdoor season, or outdoor meet, I should say, is in the books, the 49er Classic. Six new program records last weekend, a pretty good <laughs> debut for your team. So kind of what did you see from your team? Uh, overall, they did a good job uh, transitioning from indoor to outdoor season. Um, we didn't run them into a lot of events, uh, just letting them run one, maybe two events, just to shake off the cobwebs from the indoor season. But what I saw was uh, – will be a lot better this outdoor season than I even thought. Oh, and then the big news is five athletes are ranked in the top ten regionally right now. Of those five performances, which one was the most impressive to you? Uh, clearly, Karen's performance in the triple jump stands out. Uh, all six of her jumps were at least six inches further than she's ever jumped before. Uh, funny enough, keep with the number six, she's six inches off of qualifying for her nationals, which would be she'd be only the second person ever in school history to qualify, Tosin being the first. Uh, so that really stands out. She did a really good job. Oh, and then another one, obviously, that really stands out was George Hernandez breaking the 5,000-meter record by over 11 seconds. What did you see from him? Uh, Coach Donahue talked with George just before the race, and I, I didn't know how it was going to fare out, but he started out in the back of the pack, and every time he came around, each life he came around, and just started picking off a few people at a time. And I could see he was he stays at Coach Donahue's game plan. Instead of just going out there and trying to race people, he was strategic and smart about it. Well, then what does it do for the team to go out in their first outdoor meet and, like you said, shake off the cobwebs and have six program records and just kind of get back into the flow of the outdoor season? Uh, it shows that you know if we follow the training, then good things will happen. Uh, with track and field, I know a lot of times you know we want instant gratification, but it's a very patient sport. You have to be patient for it, or you're going to end up messing up. Uh, I think overall we did a really good job, and the kids see that you know if we keep if we keep with the game plan, we're going to do well. They've bought in, and it shows. Oh, and the schedule really never lets up until you get to the SAC Outdoor Championships. You're back in action this weekend at the Lindsey Wilson Track and Field Intercollegiate. So kind of what are you expecting from that event? How has it changed now as you head into the second meet of the season? Uh, not to not to say this meet doesn't mean a lot, but we are going to train through this meet a little bit. So some of them may feel a little worse for wear with the pr with the practices and the training we've had this week. But we're just trying to see uh, see if they can maintain what they've done so far uh, this outdoor season and see if they can build on it with spring break coming up next week. We'll we'll get off the gas a little bit and let them let them relax a little bit and still race. Well, and I guess that's all part of the plan of just trying to peak at the right time when you get to the SAC championships and potentially the outdoor championships for the NCAA. Absolutely. Uh, not to say any meet it means nothing, but we do we do want to make sure we do our best at our championship meet. So our conference championship is a big thing. And Lord willing, anyone goes to the national championships, we want to make sure they're well they're well rested and ready to go. Well, the teams do head over to Columbia, Kentucky for the Lindsey Wilson meet this weekend for Rochelle Black. I'm Scott Erland, and this is LMRealSplitters.com.